In this video I'm going to give you a brief overview of the progress that I've made uh, trying to use the buck regulators to uh, work with our aftermarket gauges. So you can pause and read the notations I've got on each of the video uh, pictures that I've put out. So just uh, bear with me here. And you can see that this uh, regulator has screw type connectors as a gauge and an adjustment uh, which is very sensitive and anyway uh, they're more about the buttons here uh, they're used to calibrate the meter but they're also used to turn off the display and to uh, select the bias voltage out or the incoming voltage okay pausing Okay, so now I've got, uh, I don't know why I'm not focusing. Hang on here a second. Okay, now I'm showing uh, some of the ways I attached the harness to the regulator. And here you can see I've put a little spade lug there. And then this is a... A half an amp fuse link called a Pico fuse that protects uh, the wiring in your car in case something happens to this uh, regulator or uh, into the uh, gauge or the sender. So you can see the uh, way I've hooked it up there, and uh, I'm not going to spend any extra time explaining if I can get this thing to focus come on okay so I've got the uh, ground wire there and then the gauge wire and a certain length and we'll just see how that goes I'm going to pause here and go to the next. Okay, here I'm showing uh, the gauge operational with the buck regulator and the resistance for uh, a quarter of a tank. So when you use these uh, buck regulators, before you hook it up to anything, you've got to make sure that you turn the output voltage way down because they come from the vendors in the factory uh, putting out 12 volts and that'll just fry everything if you don't turn it down first. So along with the Pico fuse right here, I've also added a Zener diode across the output it's the 7.5 volts. So the output of no matter what happens inside the, the uh, bulk regulator, if something goes wrong, it's going to go to 12 volts. So this Zener diode will keep that uh, 12 volts from getting to your gauge and frying it and the sender. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. This is the smallest buck regulator that I have tested and it is uh, okay but it's uh, quite no noisy on AM radio and uh, the adjustment pot which is right there is very difficult to uh, get it uh, at a specific voltage it's okay it's just gonna be very touchy and so I've opted not to use it in my initial uh, testing. So anyway, that concludes an introduction to these buck regulators and what I've done so far. Okay.